Welcome back to the Olds Municipal Library's Loving Letters. It's nice to see you. If you're ready, let's get started. We're going to start with our hello song. Here we go. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? How are you today? Are you ready to find out what's in the box? I'm ready. I'm so ready that I have the box in my hands already. It's exciting, isn't it? What letter could it be? Do you remember last week I gave you a hint? Something special this week. Do you know what that is? Hmm. Well, let's find out. Here is a box and under the lid. There is a letter that is hid. Lift up the lid and take a peek. This is the letter that we seek. It's an S. This is a lowercase s. And a lowercase s says And this ooh, is an uppercase S. And it says S too. S says S. Can you think of a creature that says S? That's right, a snake says Let's do our S song. Are you ready? S says S, S says S. Snake Snake S, S, S. When you say the S sound, try to cage your S. And what that means is you're going to keep your tongue inside your mouth. Watch, I'm gonna sneak really close. I'm gonna say S, and I'm gonna keep my tongue behind my lower bottom teeth, and I'm gonna say S, keeping it back there. S, and my tongue stays in my mouth. It's tricky, but it's really important to learn to cage that S, and not stick out your tongue. Ready? S says S. S says S. Snake! Snake! S. 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 Good job! Could you cage it? Did he peek out sometimes? Like a snake? Do you know that when a snake sticks out his tongue, He's not just making faces, he's smelling. He smells with his tongue. Snakes are pretty amazing creatures. I can't smell with my tongue. I gotta use my silly little nose. Now, are you ready? Let's draw the letter S. So I've got my S right here. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna start right at this end and draw it. So I'm gonna trace it. And you can draw it with your finger up in the air too. You ready? Here we go. Slither left, then slither right from top to bottom and right out of sight. S is our letter today. Now, if you're ready, we're going to read an S story. This S story has so many S words hiding in there. They're everywhere. If you look at each picture, you're also going to see the letter S 
hiding somewhere in there too. Wow. And if you have really sneaky, sharp eyes, you might see a skunk, a salamander, and two snails, and a snake hiding in there too. Lots of good S words. Now, if you're ready, let's read this S story. It's called Some Smug Slug. It's by Pamela Duncan Edwards, and it's illustrated by Henry Cole. One summer Sunday, while strolling on soil with his antenna signaling, a slug sensed a slope. Slowly, the slug started up the steep surface, stringing behind it, scribble sparkling like silk. Everywhere a slug or a snail goes, they leave a slippery little slimy trail. And that's what that was describing. Stop! screamed a sparrow, shattering the silence. Save him! shrieked a spider, scurrying down its strand. Silly! sighed a swallowtail, swooshing through the spice bush. Saphead, snickered a skink as its sapphire tail swished with a shrug of its shoulders on the slug sauntered with a swagger it slithered up and up the slant. Show off, scolded a squirrel storing nuts for the season. Oh, so sad, squealed a stink bug, shivering on a stem. For one single second, in a sunbeam it slumbered. Its sleek skin was soft like shantan, seldom swerving or straggling or swaying or skewing, the smug slug shambled on, struggling up to the summit. Summit is the peak. The slimy slug smiled. A self-satisfied smile. In spite of sinister signs, it showed no suspicion until something shifted and shuddered and shook. That sly, slippery slope was simply a sham. Such a shock, such a shame, such a succulent slug. Yum. What happened to the slug? That frog got him. He ate them all up. Now, if you're ready, let's do a rhyme or two. Sippity, sup, sippity, sup, bread and milk in a china cup, bread and milk on a silver spoon, bread made from a sliver of the silver moon, sippity sup, sippity sup, sippity 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 sup, sippity sup. Now that's enough. Ready? Here we go. Slowly slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the garden trail. Ready? <gasps> quickly, quickly.
quickly, very quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly into Mouse's house. Oh, oh those fingers got me again. There's so many tickles. Do you want to try it one more time? Okay, ready? Here we go. Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden trail. Ready? Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly into Mouse's house. Sneaky little fingers caught me. Oh. Let's get up. Ready? Can you move with me? You need to get up on your feet to do this one. Let's give it a go. Here we are. Ready? You gotta do what I do. Can you move with me? Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl upon the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee that is buzzing round a tree? Can you move with me? I love this one. Can we try it again? Let's go just a little bit faster. Are you ready? Okay. Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl upon the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move? with me. Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee that is buzzing around a tree? Can you move with me? Nice. I love it. Can we do one more before we read a story? This time, S is going to play with an H and make a shh sound. You ready? It's called she fell. You ready? She fell into the bathtub. She fell into the sink. She fell into the strawberry jam and came out pink. We left her in the backyard. We left her in the rain till half past supper time and she came out clean again. <laughs> she was silly, but she's ready to read a story. Are you? Here we go. Okay, I'm going to read you a story that in some parts I'm going to have to sing. And I'm going to try and use a bit of a funny accent because some of the words sound like they should have one. So if you're ready, here we go. On Top of Spaghetti is written and illustrated by Paul Brett Johnson and it has lyrics by Tom Glazer. Howdy folks. Welcome to Yodler Jones Spaghetti Emporium and Musical. You're just in time to hear about the big sneeze. <gasps> It all started when they put in that fried fritter franchise parlor just next door. I couldn't haul in a customer with a line and pull. Yodler, I said to myself, it's time to upgrade the menu. So, I set out to invent the most delicious meatball this side of Sicily. And I likely did. But the blasted thing didn't stick around long enough to be taste tested. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. 
I lost my poor meatball when somebody Shoo! sneeze. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled right out the door. For all I knew, my entire future depended on that runaway meatball. I just had to have a bite. I was hot on the trail when it flew to the Piggly Wiggly and hit dear Mrs. Jenkins smack dab in the squash. It hit her in the bum. Pardon my meatball, I said. And then I told my tale. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Well, that wasn't the end of it, though not by a monkey's tail. My meatball went a whooshin' and a whizzin', and this time it landed in front of the sheriff's office. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Next thing I knew, my meatball zinged all the way to the ballpark. By the time I caught up with it, some tad whacker was just about to chomp down. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody Squeezed? That meatball shot to the outfield, boomeranged, whizzed by shortstop, and flew over the pitcher's mound and headed directly to home plate. Bad Bubba Jr. was up at bat. Talk about your home run! My meatball zoomed through the wide blue yonder. And where do you reckon it landed? It rolled in the garden and under a bush. And then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. Yodler, I said to myself, you might as well put up a for sale sign. Then lo and behold, a miracle occurred. That mush was as tasty as tasty could be. And by the next day, it grew into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew great big meatballs and tomato sauce. You know what? Those meatballs were the most delicious things this side of Sicily nowadays. Plenty of folks stop by in for a bellyful and I always tell them if you eat spaghetti all covered with cheese Hold on to your meatball and don't ever sneeze. Achoo! We love spaghetti in our house, but I've never, ever, ever seen a spaghetti or a meatball go flying off the table. Let's do the ABC song now if you're ready, because we're not just playing with the letter S. We're gonna play with all the letters. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, 
L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Now I know my A B C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? Did you sing it? Good. Singing the ABC song helps you practice all of the letters in, in order. But sometimes the L, M, N, O, P gets squished together. So if we sing the ABC song to a different tune, it can help us hear those letters and squishes together some of the others. So let's try it to this old man. Do you know this song? Well, it helps if we sing this old man through first a couple of times to get the tune in our head. And then we'll change the words to the letters of the alphabet. You ready? Here we go. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Ready? Let's do it one more time. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Now for the tricky part. Keep the tune in your head and sing the ABC song. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. This is how the song will end. Oh, lots of letters get squished together right there. Let's try it one more time. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. This is how the song will end. Whew. It takes a lot of practice. Let's keep practicing that song so that we can try those ones again. And we'll practice the other ABC song that we know to help us remember how the letters go in order. But I think it might be time for us to do something out of our activity box. Today's activity is going to use these. Do you know what these are? These are wiki sticks. Wiki sticks are a piece of string covered in wax. And when you squish them, they hold their shape, whatever shape you make. So you can make a letter, the letter S, and it'll stay that way. Or we can use it with some of the papers in our box. Are you ready? Let's give it a go. Okay, so I have one of my letter practice sheets, and I have my wiki sticks. And my wiki sticks allow me to, oh, plus I put my paper in one of those page protectors so I can work right on it. Now I can use my wiki stick to curve, and I'm going to practice trying to curve it. Oh, sometimes it gets a bit sticky because of that wax. And I'm going to follow that line all the way down. It wasn't long enough. I'm going to need another stick. So I'm going to start it part of the way down and do it again. Making my snake all the way down right to the tippy tip of his tail. If I do it again, I can make it a bit thicker here. All the way this way. And when I'm done, I can pull my snake S right off. And look at that. I have a perfect S in wiki sticks. And if I want to, I can just 
take them apart. And they're ready for me to do something else with. I can mold them so he has a mouth. See that? And thicker at the top, thinner at the bottom. Wiggly little tail. And I have Snake, S snake. I love wiki sticks. They're so amazing. But now it's time for us to do our letter crafts where we turn those letter S's that we have out of paper into something. Now, the easy one is to make a snake, right? But there's so many amazing S things to use. So I couldn't just make a snake today. I made something special. Let's take a look. Okay, to make this one, you're gonna have to cut out this ghost shape, your S, this funny little rounded triangle, and this one. It looks kinda like a person. But to start this, we're gonna need our magic purple glue and we're going to need our letters. So let's start with that orange. Add a little bit of purple glue and we attach it like that. Now this one goes right on top of that orange piece. Does that help you figure out what it is? Hmm, let's put that on there. Just like that. Go smooth along the S and over that orange beak, cause it's a bird. And now I'm gonna flip my S over and I'm gonna put purple glue. Ooh, it's not very dark today, which means it's drying super fast purple glue on the bottom curve of my S. And I'm gonna put that right over top of that wiggly ghost. And with those four shapes, I turned a wiggly white S into a beautiful swan. Now let's make the lowercase s. This time I'm going to need my lowercase s, that funny crown with eyes, and a shell. And I'm gonna put them together. So I'm actually gonna put some glue on the front lower part of my s, and I'm gonna tuck it like that. I'm gonna lift this up so I can glue some more. Glue, glue, glue. And this is all I have left. I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom part of that crown and tuck it just like that. And now my lowercase s turned into a cute little snail. So I have a lowercase s snail and an uppercase s swan. How did you do? Did you like making the swan and the snail? Those were some pretty cool S creatures, weren't they? And they look kind of like the letter S when they're creatures. That's kind of cool. But guess what time it is? It's time to say goodbye. You ready? Let's do our goodbye song. Hands up high, hands down low. Hide those hands now, where'd they go? One hand up, the other one too. Wave those hands, one and two. Ready? Hands up high, 
hands down low. Hide those hands now where they go. One hand up, the other one too. Clap those hands, one and two. Ready? Hands up high. Hands down low. Hide those hands now where they go. One hand up, the other one too. Sway those hands because now we're through. I hope you had fun learning with the letter S. It's super special and I'll see you next week.